Hey everybody, welcome back to Making Music with Jonathan Foster. I'm Jonathan Foster, and I thought I would do a update on my project guitar uh, that I've uh, started to uh, basically get together a piece at a time. <clears throat> and uh, I, last time I showed you the guitar body and and uh, everything and uh, some of the the hardware. I showed you some pickups that I had purchased, but uh, it turns out that they're not quite compatible with uh, the uh, the uh, wiring harness that uh, I uh, got from Guitar Fetish. <coughs> Even though uh, it was recommended by Guitar Fetish for those pickups, I came in and it was set up for a uh, uh, what they call their Quick Connect uh, or a quick plug uh, setup. So basically, uh, here I, I sent them back to Guitar Fetish, which took a little while because they were moving their offices to Florida. <coughs> so, but they finally processed it and gave me a credit. And so, uh, but I decided since I'm going with gold hardware on my guitar parts, that I would get gold pickups. And uh, so, uh, what I'm, what I mean by the quick plug is, uh, they have a little thing here that is, uh, already connected with the wiring harness that I got from Guitar Fetish. So all I have to do is plug it in. So it's a sorterless, uh, uh, connector. So, uh, I don't have to worry about soldering and getting solder everywhere and, uh, and I'm not the best sorter in the world either, so. Uh, but I thought they looked good. Still got the little plastic on it, but they're nice and shiny. So <clears throat> I got those from uh, Guitar Fetish, as well as, actually, take this out and sort of see. I think it's gonna, gonna look okay. Uh, basically look kind of like that so I think that will look good with the and uh, got some rings here that I am going to <coughs> show uh, and also I ordered uh, a set of uh, guitar fetish locking tuners and uh, so these were the ones that were recommended for this particular uh, XGP neck. So, <clears throat> but that said, uh, they won't actually go in. So I'm gonna have to actually drill these holes out. So uh, I've seen other people say that also. Also, with the neck and the body, I'm gonna have to do a little sanding right through here in order for the neck to uh, to get placed in correctly <clears throat> so uh, it's no big deal though but uh, it's uh, be fairly easy to do it actually can squeeze in there now but it's a little tight and I want to make sure it's uh, it's not too tight in there I don't want it to to be breaking anything or putting too much pressure there at the joint uh, I'd rather have the bolts tighten it up, you know, like I want it. So, uh, so I'm just have to do a little sanding there. <clears throat> no big deal, kind of expected. So, yeah, I will have to drill the holes, some holes for the neck here, and uh, to get that, uh, drill some holes back here, and also uh, make these holes larger for the uh, tuners. But they're the uh, they're locking tuners. I got a set of these for my uh, Paul Reed Smith SE Santana edition that I keep at work <coughs> uh, to pick around on my break, uh, and they work really well. They're they're actually much better than the stock tuners that came with the PRS uh, SE model. So, which is not surprising. I mean, the SE model is a 
student edition, but it's a several hundred dollar guitar. You would think they would come with some kind of a locking tuner, but <clears throat> uh, overall the quality of that guitar is really good. But uh, let's see, uh, also, Uh, not all the parts I, that I was looking for were able to be found on um, Guitar Fetish, like the the black the the back cover for the uh, the tremolo cavity. So we put that back here like that. So uh, it's a little bit oversized. So I'll have to uh, maybe see what I can do about that it's pretty large I got another plate coming for that that I got on Amazon <coughs> uh, so uh, actually no I got this this from Amazon and I ordered the the little the hot dog shaped plate from uh, a vendor on uh, eBay uh, but the also got these guitar rings uh, to go around the uh, the pickups on the <coughs> around the pickups uh, on the front of the guitar and uh, well, this back plate for the neck joint there with the screws and everything. So as you can see, I'm going with all gold hardware and uh, as much as I can uh, on the front <clears throat> of course the back will have uh, those black plates on them except for the uh, the uh, neck plate which is going to be gold so that's sort of where I'm standing now uh, I've got enough parts to actually start assembling the guitar I just realized I needed a, uh, I'm going to need a tremolo arm. Apparently it didn't come with that tremolo block, so it's not, that's not a big deal. <clears throat> but, uh, so that's where I'm at. I'm, I'm ready to start uh, assembling the guitar and putting all the parts and pieces together. So uh, uh, stick around and uh, come back and see how this thing's going to turn out. Uh, hopefully the next uh, uh, edition of this uh, particular series i'll have it further along and uh, we can uh, maybe even see what it might sound like then so uh remember like and subscribe and have a, have a great day mm -hmm.